Hey what's up guys this is Sunny Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Chrome OS and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. First we need to enable WSL and install Ubuntu or any other Linux distro. So first open your start menu and search for turn Windows features on or off and after that make sure to check Windows subsystem for Linux and then virtual machine platform from the list and press ok now you need to restart your computer to apply the changes now after restarting open your start menu and search for cmd and then run command prompt as administrator now type WSL space dash dash set dash default dash version space 2 and it will install WSL2. Now open your Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu. Now download and install Ubuntu. Once it is installed, close Microsoft Store and then right click on your start menu and open Ubuntu. Now if you get this error saying WSL2 requires update to kernel component then you need to copy this link here and then open your web browser and paste the link and download the update for kernel component and then install it. Now after you have installed the kernel component close Ubuntu and go to start menu and open Ubuntu again now this time it will start installing Ubuntu now it will ask for username and password just enter your desired username and password now open your web browser and search for branch github now click on the first link and it will open a github page now go to releases and download the latest release of branch stable now open another tab which says cross tech now click on the first link which says chrome os updates now type the code name according to your processor and its generation so for 6th to 9th generation type shavana and mine is 10th gen intel so i'm going to type Jinlon. so after that you will see a list of isos so i'm going to download the latest recovery image at the moment which is version 128 and after downloading go to another tab and search for grub to win now download the grub to win file from any other links here so i'm going to download from majorgeeks.com After that go to another tab and download WinRAR. We need WinRAR to extract all the files which we just downloaded. Now go to downloads directory and install WinRAR if you haven't already. And after installing WinRAR first extract the Chrome OS zip file which we just downloaded earlier and after extracting that extract branch and after that create a folder named chrome os and put the extracted files in that folder and after that put the chrome os folder in the c drive
now right click on your start menu and open disk management now right click any of the local disk and select shrink volume now I recommend giving at least 32 GB of free space for Chrome OS so for this video I'm going to give it 40 GB assign a drive letter and give a volume label I'm going to give it Chrome OS now do you have to remember the drive letter for this partition mine is F so your might be E D or something so please remember it now go inside the new drive and create a folder named branch after that open Ubuntu and type sudo apt update now enter the command present on the screen now go to your C drive and then Chrome OS folder now click on the location bar and copy the path now paste the path on Ubuntu in this format shown on the screen After that, run this command and make sure to rename the binary file inside Chrome OS folder to Chrome OS.bin. This process is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part. So finally this process is completed. Now go into the new drive of Chrome OS and inside the branch folder you will now see two files. One is image file and other is the grub file so open the grub.txt file and copy the contents of it now install grub to win which we just downloaded earlier
now inside grub to win click on manage boot menu at the bottom and after that click on add a new entry and select the type as custom user creation now paste the contents which we just copied earlier and after that click on ok and ignore all the warnings now you'll see this grub entry click on apply and then click on ok Now go to your start menu and type choose power plan and go to the control panel and make sure that your fast startup is turned off. Now it's time to restart and check if Chrome OS is installed. So while your computer is restarting, press the F2 key to enter the BIOS menu. And inside BIOS menu, go to the boot menu and make sure that the grub has the first boot priority. After that, press F10 key to save and exit so each time you start your computer now you will see this menu to choose between your operating system so for now i'm going to choose branch which is the chrome os So as you can see we are in the setup screen for Chrome OS so I'm going to quickly set this up and you need a Google account to set up Chrome OS.
now let's reboot and try to check if windows is working or not So as you can see we are able to boot into windows as well so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you